U.S. Special Forces veteran arrested for passing secrets to Russia. Here's a summary of the article. A former U.S. Special Forces captain has been arrested on charges of espionage, the U.S. Department of Justice says. Peter Debens is alleged to have passed classified information to the Russian military intelligence agency over a period of more than 10 years. Debens violated his oath as a U.S. Army officer, betrayed the special forces and endangered our country's national security by revealing classified information to Russian intelligence officers, providing details of his unit, and identifying special forces team members for Russian intelligence to try to recruit as a spy, Assistant Attorney General John Demers said. He married the daughter of a Russian military officer he met in the city of Chelyabinsk in the 1990s. The press release says he frequently expressed loyalty to Moscow to his Russian handlers and described himself as a son of Russia. The Russian intelligence agents allegedly encouraged him to join and pursue a career in the special forces, which he did, the DUJ said. He was on active duty in the U.S. Army from 1998 to 2005, serving in chemical units including in South Korea before joining the special forces as a captain in Germany in 2003. This post received a score of 49,000, with an upvote ratio of 95%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. This is like a James Bond movie cliché. I'm open about liking Russia as a country, I enjoy visiting there, and when I got my security clearance I was dating a Russian girl. It didn't pose any problem. There's a difference between liking Russia as a country, and doing things for their national government. If anything, the U.S. government should be happy whenever I visit Russia. If the Russian government watches me a bit to see what I'm up to, that means I distract them from whatever actual spies are there. This is exactly what a spy would say, son of Russia. Only a spy would know what a spy would say, son of Russia. No more free Applebee's for that guy. As a veteran, this got a solid laugh out of me. I keep forgetting we can get some Applebee's for free on Veterans Day. Haven't vets suffered enough already? Our stomachs are forged through MREs and hot as. I once got some MREs in a poverty food box as a kid. They were awful. Kudos to you all for, fruit drink. Jesus. The hyper-ultra compressed bread loaves in Canadian MREs are nuts. Those suckers really expand in your stomach, and you do not want to drink pop after eating one, ooh boy. Ouchie. Pain bread baby. A whole loaf in your hand rolling on the floor laughing. Wait. I want details. Canadian rations come with a compressed loaf of bread that is labeled in both French and English cause Canada. Bread. Pain also pain bread. He was doing this from 1994 until 2010. It took them until now to catch this guy. He first visited Russia in 1994, first started working for Russia as a ROTC cadet 1996 and entered non-special forces active duty 1998. In 2000 Russia told him a regular platoon commander was not useful for a spy, and to try for special forces. He graduates training 2003. Late 2004 or in 2005 his security clearance is revoked due to an incident in Azerbaijan and he is discharged shortly after. I think this is when they begin watching him and everything after is to build the case. Imagine going all the way through the Q course only to get kicked out like a year later. Still better than being in the 82nd. They legs dog. Article says his mother was from USSR and he traveled there frequently. Also married the daughter of a Russian military officer. I feel like US Special Forces should vet for close relatives as well to ensure something like this doesn't happen again. They actually do. For certain secret clearances marrying a foreign national can disqualify you. Just cause I read it once and found it interesting, it's not even because you're thought of as disloyal for marrying a foreign national, it's so that they can't i.e. abduct you wife's parents and sister and use that to force you to do something. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.